Now that you have projected oil prices into the future and you have accumulated those savings over time, you can now move on to wood chips. As we know, the biomass facility operates between roughly October and commencement, and then they use the oil boilers through the summer and the beginning part of fall. So, I am not going to do this work for you. I'm going to ask that you think through this. First of all, you need to figure out the annual number of wood chips that are being um, saved by using solar thermal in lieu of the biomass facility. And once again, you can reference the array production cell um, right here and uh, remember how to fix that cell with a dollar sign so that when you copy this down, it still references array production, etc. The cost per ton has been given to us in 2014 that it is $63. That was given to us by Glenn LaPlante from Green Mountain College Facilities. I talked with the Biomass Energy Resource Consortium recently, and they told me that historically the cost of wood chips has been less than inflation. However, because more biomass facilities are going online, the cost of wood chips projected into the future will keep pace with inflation. So basically we need to figure out, or you need to figure out what inflation has been historically, average that, and then project, project that percentage into the future and then the cost per ton of wood chips will grow in pace with inflation. I'll give you some tools that will help you figure out that percentage. If you go to the um, inflation calculator at the Bureau of Labor Statistics, you can plug in any year uh, between 2014 and 1913. Uh, and, and I'll pick my birthday, 1975, my birth year, 1975, and then I'll figure out $100 in 1975 is the equivalent of $440 today. So uh, we have a year um, or the amount of time between 1975 and 2014, and we have a starting number and an ending number. And if you remember, we've done this before, go to your QEA formulas that you shouldn't have in your binder. It's also available on the Google Drive. And on page 33, there is a formula here that will tell you how to calculate rate that's rate is equal to 1 over t times the natural log of the, um, the end number over the present value or the future value over the present value. You can plug this into Excel. Natural log, you simply type in ln and then parentheses, um, your future value divided by your present value, and you should be able to find a percentage and then use that percentage to grow the cost of uh, the wood chips, cost per ton of wood chips over time. I'm not going to do this for you. You should be able to figure it out. Um, dollars saved, I think that's fairly simple. You have um, tons of wood chips, you have cost per ton, simple conversion to figure out, dollars saved per year. And I explained how to do the accumulated calculation in the oil projection. Basically, you can fill out this workbook and create. Um, at least one or two new charts you, uh, that, that, that describe this data. Probably the most important one would be your accumulated savings over time. I'm going to leave it at that and I welcome any questions via email and we'll also be able to discuss in the next class.